dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was a meat eater. He was a king king. Brontosaurus was the longest. Can I help you? Dinosaur. <clears throat> he was 80 feet long. He had a bump on his head. All right, just have a picture for your story? Well, I haven't done this. All right, let's see the first part of it. Very nice. Was this story a true story or a make-believe story? True. true. A true story, yes. Today we might be reading a story that could be true. You have to decide when we're all finished if you think it's a true story or a make-believe story. Very nice, and I'll give you a sticker afterwards. Okay, boys and girls, today, Mrs. Dressel, instead of looking at our chart, I took the words for your story, and I print them right over here. All right, I'm going to give you some clues and see if you can tell me what new word we're going to be talking about. One of the words up there is the name of a little girl you're going to be reading about today. Glenford. Yes, everyone, what's this word? Glenford. All right, one of those words up there is something that you can do to a door. Knock. Knock. Everyone, what's this word? Knock. knock. Uh, Ryan, why don't you just say knock and not could knock? Because the N is silent. All right, the K is what? Oh. Not, I think you said the N, huh? Oh, the K. The K is silent. Very good. All right. One of the new words up there is the opposite of left. The opposite of went. left. What, huh? Went. went. All right, what word home here says went? Do you see a word that says went, Emily? Are you want some help? The opposite of left. You have two hands. You have a left hand and do you know which word it says right, hun? You want to point to it with my magic stick? Right. Good. All right. In that word right, everyone tell me what letters are silent. Everybody. G -H. G H. All right, let's sound it out. R with long guy. Right. Right. And put a T. Right. Do you think you have all your answers right in math today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you think of another word that says right? Like I made a right. All right, that would be the same spelling of right. There's another kind of right. See if you can think. All right, why don't you work with your partners? And see if you can figure out another meaning of right. Emily, you want to work with me? Come on, can you think of another word that means right? You can put it right there. All right, what about when I say to you in the morning, I say, make sure you write your name on the paper. All right, let's stop and think about this. All right, can you two decide what you decide about another word that means right? Like when, when you, you write yeah. something. All right, when you write your name or something. But when you do that, it's spelled like this, with the W-R, that kind of a right. All right, All right. let's look back at our word chart. Emily, want to go over there so you can see, hon? OK, another word is sometimes if you hurt somebody's feelings, you feel this way. Emily? Sorry. Everyone, what's this word? Sorry. Sorry. Look at that Y at the end. Who can tell me about the Y, Caitlin? That Y sounds like an E. Good. Everyone say sorry. 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 Josh, does Y always sound like an E? No. What's it sound like sometimes? I. Uh, yeah, like the word cry or fly. All right. Another word up here. Sometimes when you read a fairy tale, you begin a story with this word. What? Once. Look at this one. Everyone, who can tell me why is the C like an S there? It's with an E. You can't say wonk upon a time, will you? No, you say what? What's this no, word? Once. once. All right. There's another word up here. Sometimes you might have lots of things to eat. And sometimes you just not like being so hungry. And sometimes you might waste the food that your mother packed for lunch. But there's a word up here where I had to add the E-D-M-D. Everybody, 
for you to draw. Mrs. Newbaker has to go and order more. Which word up there says order? Sure, you can point to it. Good. Everyone, what's that word say? Order. All right, so far we learned this word. Street. This one. Never. I'm going to skip the next one. Right. This one. Once. This one. Sorry. Winifer. Order. Wasted. Not. Right. Tell your friend the word I left out. <coughs> tell your little friend. All right, everyone tell me. Sign. Right. What's tricky about the word sign? Now think about it. Tell your friend first. See, <laughs> they agree. Glenn, talk it over so you can help Ryan. You can talk it over with this group, okay? Would you have Emily work with you today? All right, let's have the girls. Uh, Caitlin, you be the spokesman for your group. Can you tell me what you decide about the word sign? Is there any letter that was tricky or silent in there? Very good. How many of you agree with that? Sign, the G is silent. All right, now, chalk it over with your partner, and if I say the word sign, what do you think of? Chalk it over. I think of what you mean about the word sign. I know what I'm thinking about the word sign. All right, let's start with Glenn. All right, what like, did you two think like of? Like um, a sign with a stop sign or a speed limit sign. All right, you're talking about signs that you can see, like, outside that give you direction. What did you think of? Like a stop sign or like that. All right, the same type of sign that Glenn and his partner thought of. Emily, what did you think? Same thing. All right, did anyone think of a different kind I of a sign? Like, um, you, when you... When you're on a bike and you have to make a turn, you put you make oh, a sign. I, all right, so that sign that he thought of and the other children is like words, but the sign you thought of does it have words? What does it have? All right, so you can use different symbols, like your body can have some signs, yes? Or you could, like, sign a contract. Good. Yeah. Sometimes what you need your signature, you have to sign something. Today in our story, we're going to read about a little girl named Winifred who loves to make signs, all right? Before we do our story, though, I took the word sign. Now, this sign means, like, I will sign my name on the check. All right. If I have the word sign, add your S, everybody. Sign. Now add your ED. Sign. And add the ING. Signing. Sign. This word order can be like an, something you have to do, too. Let's try this one. What's this? Order. order. Add your S. Order. ING. Ordering. And ED. Order. All right, here's another root word that has an action to it. Waste. Add your S. Waste. Now remember, if the E's there, we don't add another ED. You just add the what? Wasted. Wasted. All right, what do I have to do with waste before ING? Discuss it first. All right, let me hear you two tell me. Drop, Drop the E at ING. Perfect, you can agree with that. All right, and what's this word? Wasted. All right, let's take a look at this one. Nah. Who can tell me that rule again? It's silent, yes. All these words start with a K in, but when you say them, will I hear kunna? No. Or will I just hear? No. Mm -hmm. All right. No. Not. Excellent. All right. Look at this group of words. Discuss it. Tell me what those words do. Discuss it with your partner. Yeah. All right, uh, let's have uh, Joshua. 
They all turn the beginning down. All right, I'm going to tell you those three letters and you whisper to me. And what does S-T-R say? Str. All right, let's look over here. Emily, can you tell me this word? Street. What, hun? Take your time. Street. Street. Everyone, let's sound it out. S-T-R with E. Street. And put your T. Street. Gwen, can you tell me this one? Strip. Good. Now watch. It has an E there. It's going to change that vowel. Strike. I bet T-Rex is like this. Strong. Strong. And this one? String. String. Can you think of another word that has S-T-R? Discuss it with your friends. See if you can come up with a different word. All right, you two? Strange. Good, you two? Three, I'm sorry. Stream. Did you come up with another S-T-R? What I? String. String. All right, that was one that I had, but that's still an S-T-R word. Very good. Okay, last, yesterday afternoon, I went to the library, and at the library, I asked Mrs. Uh, Clayton, because Mrs. Kelly wasn't there, for some books about science. And uh, she gave me so many books here. And in fact, Mrs. Pennington even came and gave me some pictures. Right? I used those new words in a sentence. I want you to read the first question and tell your partner the answer. other if you don't know the words. <clears throat> Alright, let's have uh, you two Does read the sentence first. Can you think of a sign you saw on your, your way to school? Alright, I forgot. I'll put the R there. I'm sorry, I thought you said way. Okay. Alright, now tell each other. Now some of you may walk to school. Maybe some of you took your bike to school. Maybe some of you um, were in the car. Tell each other if you saw any signs on your way to school. Tell each other, then you'll tell me. <clears throat> All right, Gwen, did Ryan tell you a sign he saw? We thought of it together. What did you think the of? The sign that yeah. they'll stop the the crossing guard over all right, and what does his sign say? Stop. All right, anyone think of a different sign? Emily, what did you tell your partner? I saw a sign. It was a diamond shape and had a curve on it. Did you know what that sign meant, huh? What did it mean? All right, there was a curve, and that tells the cars that there was a, and the street was going to be curving. Did you see something different? Um, I saw the speed limit sign. All right, it told you exactly how fast you're allowed to go. Did you two come up with a sign you saw? This well, okay. I, well, um, I saw the, the, the sign at the crossing guard. Hole. Oh, you saw the same thing. All right. I saw one. What did the, you see? Huh? I saw one stop sign on a four. That one by the crossing guard. All right, fine. Now there are so many signs. Yeah. I bet if you really, if I told you to make sure you look at all the signs on your way to school, you would probably come up with lots more. This book you're going to really enjoy. It's called this way it says i walk and read i'm going to just show you some signs and together as a group i want you to tell me what it means what's this one say everybody in. in josh what do you think that means that sign like to go in there all right yeah. what do you think cars would obey that yeah. where might you find this sign oh. Good. A car wash might have it. Let me skip around. Oh, here's a good sign. Do you know what that says? You know, sometimes signs are difficult to read because they don't use just small letters. Sometimes they use what kind of letters? All right, capital letters. You'll see that. Would you touch that, Emily? All right, aren't you glad the sign would be there then? All right, let's see. I bet you know this one. Police. Police. Let's see. Oh, here's a sign. Anyone know what that says? Oh, one try. All right, everyone.
very one went stray. What does it say? Barbecue chicken. If I saw that sign, what would that tell me, Ryan? That oh, if you go inside that store, you can have barbecue chicken. Mm, how many of you would go in there? You don't like barbecue chicken. Emily don't like barbecue chicken, Glenn. Um, and if I might go in there. And maybe if I'm lucky, I might get barbecue potato chips. Oh, well that you like that better? Well, maybe they would have to add that barbecue chicken and potato chips. Then you would really go in. All right, look at this one. I know, I'm just skipping randomly. I might come back to them. You want to know what this says? Almost. Oh. All right, does anyone, everyone read this? 12 a.m. 6 p.m. Which might you find this sign, Josh? On mailbox. Maybe on a mailbox. But I think there's a better place than a mailbox. Probably some kind of a store, yes. And that way you would know that if you had to buy something on Sunday, would you it'll go between 12 a.m. and 6 p.m.? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's, let's see what else. Oh, everyone knows this sign. School bus. This one? Bakery. Would you go there? Yes. yes. What would you buy there, Ryan? Everything. Everything? What would you buy? Donuts. Oh, boy, don't make me hungry. Let's see. Oh, here's a very important one. Look at this one. Do you know what that is? Fire. Uh, let's have Emma. All right, what do you suppose you do to that one? Back, telling me, not showing me, two signs that you found in our classroom. Very quietly. Discuss it with your partner so you come back and let me know. Walk around so you can see. As soon as you found two signs, come back here.
making so much paper and all her friends didn't really like what she was making, someone suggested a good idea to her. Who knows what that good idea was for her to make instead of all the junk she was making. Huh? Oh. All right, did she take... Oh. Did you read both pages, huh? Yeah. All right. If they had a solution to this problem of making all the signs, take your time. If you need help with the words, either ask me or a friend. 